Well, welcome to Dark Souls Arc Thrones. Now, I had planned on uh, waiting for this to reach launch, but, you know, I got nothing else on deck right now. I can't, I mean, I could, but I, I really don't want to play Helldivers 2 every single day. Uh, so why not? You know, why not? Let's jump in. We will probably play it again at launch. Uh, just to clarify a few things, this is a mod for Dark Souls 3. This is only available for PC. Sorry, console gang, you're not going to be able to experience this. Um, it has its own server set, so you can play online and with friends. The mod is free, and there is a link to it in the first line of the description. Let me confirm that. Yes, there is. So yeah, this this uh, overhauls a bunch of stuff. Not linear progression. Explore each throne at your own place in a desired order. Easiest to most difficult, or vice versa. Uh, new weapons. The player can find new weapons dropped from enemies, NPCs, transposed from boss souls. Uh, new armor, new bosses, new combat mechanics, new NPCs and side quests, rain and reimagine world. Um, this is, in a sense, this was a mod that's designed to, from what I understand, be like a pre Dark Souls 3, like more properly fill in the gap between Dark Souls 1 and, and 3. So either way, it should be fun. These guys have been cooking for a while on this, I believe two years, and this is just the, the demo. You might need to play a previous version. I've heard that as well. If I need to uh, to downgrade my version, I'll do that, but we're going to hope my PC just brute forces it. When the chosen savior turned away from his duty, the Firekeeper took charge. And five kingdoms gifted her five thrones to aid in the Firelink yeah. ritual. I got a whole ass lore going on here, okay. And received souls brought by an emissary of Emmas. The Firekeeper's champion. Damn, I can't believe they straight up got some custom art and voice acting at the start. Uh, aim. Oh boy. Young or mature. Let's see. A knight. A fugitive on the run. Dex and strength to survive. So it's kind of like a quality class. You are like strength and fit. Duelist. This is the Dex focus. This is the Int class. Pyromancer. Cleric. Outcast. Lies on luck to cast hollow sorceries. That's cool. Bow related class. Little hope possesses high vigor and vitality. So just this is your thick boy class and then the deprived. Um, what do y'all think? Go just go night. I've heard that there's a uh it's a goofy looking sword, I like it. I kinda wanna try this like hollow sorceries. I don't usually enjoy spears. Nearly hollow, outcast sorcerers rely on luck to cast hollow sorceries. Just re rewind the stream. It is a mod. Let's just go night, because I'm probably, well, I don't know. Hmm. Fugitive does give me quality setup. We could go, let's go fugitive. That sword looks kind of cool. Tom gifting 10 memberships to start. And blessing, throwing knives. Values arms over pretty trinkets. Acquire many souls. Um, maybe the raw gen? No, but raw, if raw works the same way it did before, it's going to get rid of my scaling. Um, I 
Let's go with black fire bombs. Black fire bombs are always good. I'm gonna go with the pale man. He's gonna be covered in armor. Custom load screens. Alright, so let me... Just why? Yeah, I gotta get used to playing this since I've played nothing but Elven Ring forever. Oh god, hang on. It's not... So we got the forward dash on it. What's our sprint? Alright, I can work with this. So what is this exactly? Old Greatsword. Perfect. Control camera. Regular attack. Strong attack. Target lock, backstep, and roll. Oh. Yeet. Oh, so this shield doesn't have parry on it. A weapon skill, so I go into stomp with it. Okay. Perfect guard, guard counter. So I perfect guard, and then I do a heavy attack for a guard counter. Alright. So if I have perfect guard, I probably don't need parry. Parry, repel attack. Lost after a successful parry. Ooh! Ow. Ow. I whiffed my follow-up. Well, there go my flasks. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Froze up for a second. I got I got the perfect guard. It's I gotta I gotta time the hit that and then hit R2. I'm gonna have to practice that. Move and dash. Put the armors and stuff on display. Ow, stop that. I don't have very high expectations for this boss fight. I have no flasks. Anything that I can heal with? I might be able to just cheeky my way through it with black fire bombs. We'll see. Demon Vanguard. Hey there, big guy. How much will these hurt? 75? That's not gonna be enough. I know these butt stops.
boy. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, stay back. I'm dead. Damn it! I didn't. I saw it had come in. I was like, uh, I'm not gonna be able to stop that. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I almost had it. Wait, is this the room that I walked through before? Do I fight him again? This is not a paid mod, this is a free mod. Restart? Should I restart? I'm, I am tempted to restart. Let's restart. Let's restart. I could have killed that. I could have killed that? I fucked up! When the chosen... Fugitive, starting gift, the bombs, large head, no, I want him to be very burly, maybe just that burly. I want him to be ripped, thick as shit body hair. Build, where's the, uh... Yeah, there we go. Hey, when he when he got all he got all Lawrencey on me. It threw me off. I was like, "Who?" Oh. I wonder if you can. So it looks like you take a little tiny bit of damage when you get a perfect block, like just a pinch. How much exactly? NHP, that's nothing. Could it be that you're supposed to die? If we're supposed to die, I'll discover that as I kill it. <clears throat> I mean, based on how much damage we were doing, I don't think this is a you're meant to die boss. Allergic to reading. <laughs> I just took too much damage messing around with shit at the start when I should have just been.
Oh, that fucking lava hurts. Damn. Fuck. That second phase is brutal, bro. Again. Again. We go again. When the chosen I just need to avoid the, the lava. I didn't I didn't think that lava was gonna flat me as much as it did. No, I think I'm going to need the fire bombs. I'm going to I'm going to burn through my fire bombs to get him like low and then just get a uh I'm trying to remember how to jump attack. Is jumping attack a thing in Jumping attack's a thing in no. Yeah, no, definitely not deathless. I just wanna I just wanna see what happens when I, I beat the boss. You probably get like a weapon or something off of it. Grow soul. It. There wasn't there like a lightning thing I picked up? Alluring. Soul deserted. Arrows. What this one? Just a coin now. I thought I didn't I get a lightning. No, I have it. It's just a lightning urn. Okay. Well, whatever. It's one more thing I can throw. So that's doing 213. 28 with riskier. I think I'm better off just going for basic R1s. That way I don't gotta commit as much. Shit, dude. <laughs> they fucking one tapped me. Oh, man. I have to, I have to beat him. Uh, uh. I need to, like, find the sweet spot where I can... If I can just hit him from melee range, I can pull this off with ease. Your shield have good damage reduction? When the chosen hmm, probably not. I mean it's like a dinky shield.
I gotta, I think, I think that that is working. I think I just need to, I just need to, uh, I need to play it, play it slightly different. Let me, um, what is, what is my, my weight at? Quick load. Since he's like kind of balking me anyway, we're gonna just go, uh, we're gonna go near naked. Yeah, I was considering the lightning pine resin. That's, that was gonna be my next, my next, uh. That was gonna be my next attempt, is use lightning pine. I think just being light, I think this alone will will make the difference, to be honest. Alright, now where was the, the lightning barrel? Actually, I don't even know if I need it. Excuse me, you gotta go... He has a he has a, a a weak spot right on his face. Shit! Ooh, oh, thankfully he missed swing there. Come on, do the butt swing again. I was trying to go to the side and I went that way. Ah. Oh. That was such a dumb death. The uh. night class at least doesn't get one tapped and the straight sword does about the same damage. Nah, we've already we've already chosen our class. I'm I'm committed to this class. Yeah, we're just gonna put- no, we're just gonna Remember. pull the pine out. We're just gonna pull the pine out instead of the bombs, and I'll be fine. I'm just getting cooked by liquid top magma. I got multiple? Oh, bro, it's over now. This is Dark Souls 3, not Dark Souls 1. Yeah, I think if I just pump golden pine resin, I think the, the fight's over. Let's 
What's up, you big bitch? your butt smack. Fuck, he goes for a multi-swing. Oh. oh, wait, I wasn't dead. Rip. I just assumed I was dead, so I set down the controller. I wonder, could I perfect guard the boss? Yeah, big, big Lawrence vibes for sure. We're, yeah, we're in too deep now. Like, we have to kill it. When the chosen say. Yeah, I did. I thought I was just dead. No! Oh, well, that's a waste. Oh, well. I gotta... I think that the trick here is... You know what? There's one thing I've been doing. I just need to fight him unlocked, probably, because then I can head snipe. I just gotta- I gotta get close enough to actually hit him. Ow. I gotta get close enough to hit him without being cooked by the lava. That's the- that's the trick here. It's, it's clear that you get to that part and the lava is meant to be like a, oops, you're dead. Which... All the more reason I'm like, well, now I have to kill it. So it looks like I can't... I was trying to, to head snipe and aim that up. Damn it! Am I dead? I'm dead. Damn it! First try. They're all the first try. <laughs> Every single attempt is the first try. I also think I need to... And yeah, I gotta force him into the middle of the room so that I can not get stuck in the butt. I'm getting stuck in the butt. I'm getting stuck in the butt.
Do I have any? Let me let me keep the armor on this time. I don't know. I mean, I think this will work fine. I just gotta not get stuck in the butt. Yeah, I know if you choose the night class, you don't get one shot. I don't want to choose the night class. Y'all gotta remember, I like to figure out shit on my own. Even if that means I die. If I die ten times, I'd rather die 10 times and have done it my way than not die at all and do it your way, okay? Like, I got my own way to cook steak. I don't need your advice on how to cook steak. Head sniping is clearly the way to go. Another one. I mean, the multi-hit, I'm assuming I can avoid that just rolling through it. Uh, I think that puts me at the 50% threshold, and I still have the armor, so I actually survived being one-shot there. play gigantic. I know Endo is like, we gotta play gigantic. He's like a gigantic addict.
Oh. oh my god, dude. I wouldn't even say that was greed. I had I had a clean window to attack. I went for it. I got it. It's just I pushed myself too far forward and got lava. I'm gonna add the lightning urn on and try to just finish him off with that. I don't know if it instant kills you. I think I was just too low. Yeah, but the, the face snipe strat is definitely the way. Like, we have the fight down. It's just a, a matter of uh, fine-tuning the lava. We do huge damage to the face when he does his little stompy thing. Oh boy. Damn it! I was hoping I could outrun that. I fucked that up that time. have to know what he drops the ironic thing is we're gonna beat him and it's gonna be a weapon that i'm not gonna be able to use for like 40 levels because that's the dark souls way when the chosen you're supposed to die no Maybe you're supposed to die. I'm the chosen undead. There is no supposed to die. I didn't think he was going to go into the animation that fast. <laughs> Another one. I should try uh, perfect guarding it, but... I don't know. Do you think we can perfect guard against him?
to her. I'm going to try and perfect guard one of his uh, swings. So it looks like even if you whiff the perfect guard... Well, a perfect guard isn't a parry. Yeah, no, headshots, headshots are clearly the best bet. Bro, that lava just instant giving me is so annoying. Oh, yeah, I thought I thought it was a health based thing, but now the lava is an instant kill. If it's it seems like there's two different lava hit zones though. From what I'm noticing, the the lava that's like around him. Like, past his, past the radius of his body is not an instant kill. The lava that is right underneath him is an instant kill. Because I've gotten hit by the lava before and I survived. But if there's... Lava, uh... If you're, like, right on top of him, that lava, that instant gives you, it seems. I don't know. I think the head, I think I'm getting better damage in at the head. I don't think the butt tactic is worth it. I mean, I can try the butt tactic again. Looks like I am able to block the axe to a certain extent. Yeah, I can perfect guard it, but I don't really have the stamina. I should have tried dodging the left there. Uh, I think that the face was still doing way more damage. If I was, if I stayed on the face there, I think he would have been dead. All right, boys. I think it's time to initiate gamer mode.
We gotta, we gotta initiate gamer mode. When the we've been, we've been chilling back in our seat, just kind of relaxing. We gotta, we gotta lean in. You know, that's like, see, this, the thing is, this, this, you're just chilling. This, that's gamer mode. We, we weren't playing with gamer mode yet. You know, we were just, we were just chilling. Once, once you turn on gamer mode, it's all over. You gotta lock, exactly, you gotta lock it in, you know? We've been, we've been just chilling right now. We gotta, we gotta put gamer mode on. There's a slight timing on that third swing. All right. To the face of the strat, he goes one, two, one. I dodged the timing of the one, two. I didn't dodge the timing of the third hit. Perfect guard the lava. Oh, fuck. Hang on. I went to hit new game and I scrolled through to quit. I wasn't even greedy, bro. I missed time to dodge. Nice. Cowboy dodges. You're too greedy. Like what? What are we at now? We're at 48 minutes of when the ch trying to kill his ass. Sometimes that's how it be, bro. Besides, I like I like learning learning timings and shit for bosses. We've just been, we've just been spending 48 minutes in character creation, that's all. Now, each of these characters has a, uh, a different backstory. It's like an isekai. So we're just getting the one that has the best backstory, is all.
So rolling diagonal through that fire breath, you're gonna get cooked. The fire breath is honestly the hardest thing. I, I think. I, I'm trying to think how to dodge the fire breath. I think the only way is to have enough stamina to do a full 180 behind him. When the ch Well, I can't afford to be closer to his mouth, because if I get closer to his mouth, then I die to his ass lava. I mean, we'll get it. We're fine. It's just a matter of, uh... Nah, Flask isn't even worth it here. Honestly, trying to go for the Flask is, is too risky. Because if, you, if you're trying to, to Flask in the middle of that fight in Phase 2... He's, he's just too uppity with his swings, I think. I think I got the strat here. I know what to do. We're gonna, we're gonna pop the face. Two hits on the face as he's transitioning. Ow! Two hits on the face as he's transitioning forms, and then I think we play the ass game. Bro, I'm being fucking smacked by him this round. Dodged too soon. This bitch. What are we at? Fifty three. Again. When the chosen. I feel like after doing this, I have to just I have to use whatever weapon he drops. You know, like there's there's just too much of a commitment to not take his fly demon great axe and murder everything with it. Yeah, there's, that's the thing. There's, there's too much commitment here, bro. We have to take him out now. We're in too deep. If we had just said, oh well, and started the game, that'd been one thing. Now it's like, nah, we gotta... We have to kill the boss now. There's no in-between.
fucking... It wasn't even there! The lava wasn't even there! Oh my god! Bruh. Bruh. Dude, the lava is... I feel, I feel a little robbed by that one, I'll be honest. That that one felt that one. That's the one I will say is a little a little bullshit. The rest when the there were mistakes. But there was we looked down. There was no lava. He was like, "Just kidding." The aura of my lava is far beyond what is visually there. Yeah, literally the right now the lava is the boss. Yeah, getting the getting the charged heavy as the head comes down is the, the play. Cuz that was huge damage. It took him within one hit for the fight. I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> that, uh, that didn't work out there. <laughs> oh, man. When the chip. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the. I bomb you strat. I think that's the I think that's honestly the play. Because I, I almost, back in the, the early attempts, I almost killed him alone with firebombs. So, if I wait for his face to come down and I get that heavy charged attack, and then I just run behind his butt and firebomb him, I'm pretty sure that's it. Because the, the firebomb attempts, I was just barely not... I did I just barely didn't have enough to finish him. new he usually goes for a sweep damn i changed strats and he hit me with a new move fucking rip bro when the chosen Mm. 
much is there to do in this demo? I've heard it's like 10 hours long. I don't think that's including the hour I've spent on the first boss. Like I said, we're in too deep now. I have I have to kill him. I just gotta, as long as I can avoid the butt lava, I should be okay. I will say, I think I would probably put this up there as one of the the harder starting bosses I fought in a Souls game now. Just because the, the lava, man. Ugh. Like, the lava is, it's, a. Uh, it's like, it's Lawrence, you know, it's literally Lawrence from Bloodborne. Which is one of my most hated fights. I'm being scammed right now. Oh my goodness. Yo, what if the boss is programmed to just like not die? He always has one HP. <laughs> I'd be so fucking angry. <laughs> I would be livid. I would be livid if that's the case. When the chosen. True, I did kill him earlier. But I just I just happened to do just like one damage less than what I needed to secure the kill. Oh man. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the lightning urn along just so that if I do get in that situation again, I can just back off and throw a lightning urn. Never mind, that's gone. Damn it. Another one hit sloppy. Be able to get two charged heavies on the head? I don't think so. I mean, maybe, but honestly, I'd be worried that going for a second charged heavy would result in him just lobbying me. I could try it. I mean, two charged heavies would potentially kill him outright. Nah, the other bosses. I doubt the other bosses are, are this bad. The only reason this is, is bad is the lava. Like the fight the fight and the damage itself aren't aren't that bad here. I mean, when you take a full giant axe to the face at level 9, like, yeah, you die. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, safe. I think two charged heavies would have... I'm, I'm worried about the forward momentum on that. I think the forward momentum would end up killing me.
That would be my concern, is I, uh... As I swing, I hit him, and then I'm in the lava all of a sudden. And then I die anyway, because lava hurt. get to his butt in the face it's not that simple dude i've done that the lava hitbox on his butt still killed me how are you gonna be like just do this when i've done that and that did not work ah oh, fuck i hit continue Goes to the second phase, bait the hammer fist. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying. I think staying in front of him is the, the way, to be honest. Because you get so much more damage hitting the face. That it's like, it's a non-contest. If you can... there, It does feel like there's a little bit of of RNG, like if I can get him to do the axe move, I can survive the axe move, I can dodge that. But if he decides to go for uh, the fire mouth, that's a whole different ball game. I need to, I need to, I need to run around to the butt if he goes for fire mouth. That's shake out. I keep restarting because I want to know what you get for killing the boss. I think are you are you forced to die? Like I kill it and then it just explodes and you die no matter what. Bro. Ah, but we got that. We got that. That makes it all worth it. We got, we got Soul of the Demon Vanguard. Used to acquire souls to transpose into weapons. The conflict between Prince Lorian and the old demon prince was short and brutal with few prisoners of war. See, we got something. Good stream, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Uh We got the boss soul, that's what's important. Light my way. That's what we wanted. The shadows, so my journey is ever safe. 
so I may find guidance in the wisdom of saints. Oh, dear, forgive me. I didn't see you there. Allow me to introduce you. Yeah, this is a new DLC. Go check the PlayStation Store. I am Erwin of Karim, a disciple of the Archbishop. I was sent here by Apostle Morn to retrieve a wayward saint, a frail woman by the name of Irina. She is my dear sister. Her but we have received no word from her, nor her knight, Egon. Miracles are tales of the gods, powerful blessings made manifest by faith. Mark with 50 gift memberships, oh lord. I yeah. can teach you. It's gonna. You'd like. That's gonna go off for like. Oh shit! That was that was an accident, bro. Shall we begin? I had to mute that. Otherwise, you're all just gonna hear "I Love the Booty" for like 20 minutes. So you got miracles. Ah, blessed most as such. Oh, I. Farewell. Some new armor, bro. I'm fat rolling, though. There we go. Take the helmet off. Welcome to the Nexus, lost soul. I am a firekeeper. The arch thrones require a great many souls, so that the linking of the fire may commence it. If thou wouldst become an emissary of the thrones. Then take this. Lost soul. With the seal of the Nexus of Yeah, but fuck. Well done. To collect enough souls to approach the backside of one of the thrones, and the rest will follow. Might go for the other chest. This chest is very big looking. Actually, screw it. Heavy, sharp, refined, raw, Blah. crystal, simple, fire, chaos, lightning, blessed, deep, dark, blood, poison, hollow. St Demon stone, great axe, 28, 12, 12. Well, we got to start leveling up. Repair. He's got some Titanite shards, laboratory key, and then looks like the starting weapons. You're welcome. I don't remember. The name is Thomas. If you plan on visiting, if you have the rest of ship, then it's not. So I can store my stuff with you. And then this was just the faith guy. And then a room that didn't have anything. Is this the lab? That might be the lab that I need the key for. More bone.
Okay, I feel like there should be something else in that one room. We got this guy. So that's the dude who will hollow you and level you up. Alright, well let's take a look at our worlds and then pick one to go to. Well, so that's Gwendolyn. That's the Giants. I think I have to go to that, this one first, and then the others probably open up. No, travel. Is this supposed to be my first one? Person and a snake. Don't know who that is. Decaying wolf. The skull throne. Did she say just pick a throne? Or? Approach the back side of one. So this is one of the thrones. I guess I can only go to the first one. Torn Village. What kind of offering system? What did that weapon say? 1212 12 and I think 30? It's not that bad, 14.5. It's fairly quick. Got the big bonk. It looks like the hitbox on it is pretty insane. Uh, axe of the Vanguard Demon, made of thick stone tablet held in place by twisted roots, far too thick to be used as an axe, it's better suited as a hammer. Descendants of the Spider Witch sought to expand their territory and spread chaos at the edge of Lothric Kingdom. Demonic Flare briefly causes flame within to flare and smash it upon earth and foes. We get primarily strength with a little bit of faith and int scaling. That sounds pretty fucking neato. We're just going to pump our strength up to 28 and then get the 1212. In the meantime, I'll work with this guy. Yeah, I think I think it was worth it. Cuz I can't work from this. I have to go back up there. They're all they're all up now. Wish there was like a little a little description when I touch them. War torn village. 
Perpetual civil war of Lothric has had many casualties. The holy war is waged by the mighty angels. It is said to have a mighty wall guardian halted to both an entire legion of Lothric's knights alone, ensuring your troops' safety. I mean, since this was the first one, let's just go through this. Boost the effects of kindling when mixed in flask. A mysterious cuff reminiscent of a firekeeper's crown. That's a key item. That's something that's mixed. I think they touched up the Corvian models. Humanity. I mean, this is a quality build. Guy packs a punch. This looks like it's explosive. Yep. Shit. See if this still works. Probably gonna get wrecked by that ballista, but you know, I can't help myself going after a lizard. This is right where the lizard spawns. A lot of work for a single Titanite shard, I'm gonna be honest. I think if I aim this just right. Come on, buddy, get up there. Get up there. Oh, come on, let me use it. I want to use it and, and shoot that guy.
Yeah, this is out of the various mods I have played. Uh, this is definitely the most dramatic I have seen in terms of like just a full fucking overhaul. Like, given we're very early still, but like, this is, this is just all new stuff. And like, I recognize certain things, but yeah, this is, usually mods are like, oh, we changed a wall. Like, nah, they just straight up, like, made a whole fucking world out of here. So far, our balance feels pretty good. Like these early, early basic bitch hollows, I would expect to to one shot them and take a, a little bit of health if they hit me. I recognize this. Is there a ladder to go up there? I don't want to let them duke it out. can hit these and explode. I don't have enough to stop. Have anything else that could heal? Using hitboxes, that's what I'm talking about. It's a Bloodborne, bro. Ah, oh, shit. The second one got me. Okay, though, that's a good place to die. I can run straight over there and drop down. Wonder if the bigger boys are. Okay, they do respawn. But Angel Knights. You asshole. Cheeky little shit. Just waiting there to get the one, two, three on you.
think I need to run. I think I need to drop left hand side, kill that one dude. And then go into the other one from there. Fuck, that thing is so annoying, bro. Bro, oh my god. There's gotta be like a good shortcut here. And I need to get that shortcut fucking ASAP. Fuck off, Scarecrow, man. up and around. I gotta get used to uh, like perfect guarding and stuff. It's always a little hard for me to adjust to using mechanics like that. Because like playing this, you know, it's it's very obvious, like, it's it's a Dark Souls 3 mod. But, like, my brain doesn't want to compute. Like, yeah, use, use perfect guard. My head is just like, oh no, play it like Dark Souls 3. And I shouldn't play it like Dark Souls 3, I should play it like its own thing. Rusty windmill sound makes me think there's something I can do with it. Six hundred. Oh. It's like a whole fucking war going on over there. Um, let's. What are these little symbols? Embers indicate host of embers presence. Oh, true. That's right. This has like invasions and shit. Risking the souls. So do I go here? I probably res. I probably do it at the firekeeper. Strength. Everything goes in strength. I wonder if we unlock the ability to just teleport between them at some point. I mean, 
mean, we're, we're not going to be using that weapon for a while because we are going to have to put points into to int as well as uh, we'll need to pump int. We got to get faith. We need to have some endurance and health. Yeah, I'm going to do more perfect guards because those seem fucking good. I hated you in Dark Souls 3, and I still hate you here. So it looks like we have humanity and embers. There's some Grant's Boon of Equipped Kindling. Oh, so the Kindlings are like buffs that we equip. And man, everyone loves the weird goopy oil snakes. I don't know if I trust this. Something about this bridge is very sus. Charcoal pine bundle. Damn, I don't know. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? That way is the castle. So I probably want to clear this path first. Was there anything left? Was it just that wing knight? Let's go this way, I guess. Next game. Uh, they're probably making some original thing. There's been rumors for a while that they're they're doing some kind of mage magic focused game. All the stuff surrounding Spellbound. A lot of the leaks were disproven to be bullshit, but uh, I personally I think FromSoft does some of their best work when they just decide to go off and do their own things, you know? Like, Sekiro was phenomenal. I loved Sekiro. It's one of my favorite games they've done. Even if it doesn't have the replayability of Souls, I think it just has a... If we're a cleric beast ahead. Great! I think it has a different vibe that makes it... more enjoyable, or at least...
jump fucking hurt. Alright, so the easiest way. <laughs> the stamina cost on that does feel kind of high. Bro, stop it. I doubt the man of pus respawns. Fuck, he does. Jesus Christ. Pulls his hand up for massive damage. Damn, he rolls over you for massive damage. Jesus! Yeah, damn. I don't think I can take him on right now. Just seeing how hard that thing hits, that feels like a, uh, I need to level up more. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave those souls behind. We're gonna keep leveling. Because going any further after him is just going to be wasting souls, I think. Jesus Christ, this area is just a shit show. No, oh, fight each other, not me. Don't fight me. I'm just here to clean up and get the souls from Yaldine. <laughs> okay. Chicken was good. Very tasty. So I could go to the fight that way, I could go up around. Bottomed out my stamina. Right in the PP.
Ja, Poist. I want to find my first new weapon. It's like the the big big bonk stick. That's we're not using that for a while. Oh god. Comfortable. Dude's fucking sniping me. crazy because I recognize the area we're in now but the alternate color scheme it's it looks like a completely different game hang on a second someone calling me those even if I do I think they would respawn but it's worth trying maybe it's like a permanent destruction no that would be cool though like if you break the ballistas they don't respawn I think that would be a nice touch Winkling. Shit. 
Oh, God. So we could go that way, probably get shot by giant arrows. We could go this way. The sewer have giant... It has thing I don't want to fight in it. Not giant rats, but... Ooh. To find somewhere safe. Check the wall. What, in here? I don't think I want to go fight that with half health and no Estus. Also not particularly keen on going into the sewer right now. Needed. Yeah, I have humanity, but I'd rather not pop humanity at the moment. The broadsword does have better strength scaling. So do you. Leveled you up. Oh wow, old great sword has some bleed and some poison on it. That's pretty solid. I guess I could use my one oh two. Why not? Let's use it. Should we push this way or push through the sewer? What do you think is more likely to find me a bonfire? Probably the sewer. They do not like fire. It's this way. Oh, is this the one at the very start? I think it is. Isn't this the very, very start? Yeah, I know where we're at. Cool. Alright. Alright, so we got a shortcut. That's good. Actually, you know what? Since we're here and we got 3,600, let's warp and then we'll come back. The mod is overhauling a bunch, but I'm also playing it at 4K max settings. So, it's about as crispy as Dark Souls 3 can ever look. Discovery. Uh, poison throwing knives. Where did I get those? I kind of want to. I wonder how expensive they are. I kind of want to buy some fire bombs. Let's see, if they're like 100 souls a pop, I'll get a couple. Yeah, infinite for 100. Let me get like, uh, like five and then buy the lantern as well. Lantern was expensive. 
Lantern, I'm trying to remember. Lantern is like, oh, what do we got? Curse resistance. Put that on. Not that it matters. Yeah, I don't need to put that in my inventory. Damn, that's a solid amount of curse. Welcome. Very well taken. Touch the darkness inside of me, gay yeah, girl. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I, w I want to focus strength, but I also think I should focus like vigor endurance up to like uh, vigor and endurance up to like 20 each just to have a little more oomph. You have issues with your 4090? Uh, no. I, when I first got it, there was a issue where I had to get it RMA'd. It was just like a bad card, I guess. Um, but they just replaced it in full. But I have a Asus Tough version. What kind of issues? Fire trivializes them. Oh, he juked it, asshole. I hate when I do the accidental kick. What's this human pus I keep picking up? Prevents staggering from certain attacks when mixed in flask. Boost damage against abyssals when mixed in flask. Gradually restore HP in flask. Refuse to create fire weapon. Actually, you know what? I should have pumped some levels into my uh, my weapon. Was that a... Did I see I have a... Honestly, infusing this fire might be the play early on. Early game uh, infusions tend to be pretty wild. Night set, it's usually pretty good. That flask barely restores half my health. Very of mob enemy. Oh, stay down. So I think they keep coming up. an uneven footing.
Fuck, come on, hit him. No, get him. Fuck, I got him before the fire runs out. That's why I bought fire bombs. More fire bombs, fuck yeah. You gotta buy fire bombs to get fire bombs. Yeah, fire, fire fucks puss up. That's kind of why I'm thinking maybe I scale this to fire for now. And then I can focus on, uh, on health and stamina for a bit. Because this zone, it seems like there's a lot of men of pus. And so fire would be quite valuable here. Alright, I'm usually- I keep hitting R1 and then pressing the button. Fairy dagger carrying my ass today. Fairy dagger. When I parry you, everything is okay. More human us. Let's go check this. This looks like a one-way trip to a boss. <laughs> no, it is. Uh... Time for fire. Forest. Time for a phantom. He's dead. Think again! <laughs> Away I go! Out of your fucking mind, you think I'm dying today. Ah, just good, wasn't it? I would like to turn this guy. Ooh, it's expensive. Um, so that's gonna lessen the bleed a little bit, and it's gonna slap a hundred fire damage on that bad boy. So we'll put it at 200 fire. What about... I should, if I'm gonna go fire, I might as well go with like a longsword though, you know? Should I... what do you guys think? Should I go something faster? Let me look at some movesets here. So, longsword, or broadsword. I mean, fire longsword will just smack. The thing is, I really like the, like, that's good AoE, and it's quick. It's very quick. Broadsword, way too short and stubby. I did. I picked up Red Hilted, but if I remember, this is more of a poke halberd. Yeah, I don't. I don't like poke halberds. Um. The other option would be War Pick. No, I think we're just gonna keep our greatsword. I think it's solid. Let me. Uh, let me sell the other shit. Interesting. Um, I'm not gonna use you or Emissary's Bay. Let me look at this one. I'm gonna check the Emissary Blade. Emissaries, I need faith for it. Emissary's Oath. Just like a long sword, but it heals you. Yeah, I'll sell off the other weapons. Um, I have no 
never going to use that. Okay, let's turn you into fire. So I'm, right now I'm at roughly 150 when I consider the scaling. This is going to put it to 200, but it's going to remove all scaling from it. I think that's going to be worth it. We need 795. I'd like to put an upgrade into it too. 795. I never use gold coins. I know they're they're good for farming, but I just don't use them. I never use them, so I might as well sell them. Alright, now we need three shards for the next. Alright, I think that was a good spend of our souls. We are better off than we were before, certainly. Feel like an expansion or more like a new experience? Um, I would say it, more just new experience so far. I don't know if expansion would be accurate because I don't think there's like mechanically much that I've experienced that's different. I mean, we have the perfect guard now. I don't think I've ever done a walkthrough for a mod. This should actually help quite a bit when I decide to go pay another visit to our uh, our cleric beast friend. <laughs> yeah, baby. That damage, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah, this was the call. I do feel like my Estus flasks heal for like nothing. I gotta, I gotta hunt down uh, those the locations for stuff. Wasn't there like a, um, yeah, here we go. That's what I want. Oh, no, no, no. That's what I was looking for to put the lantern on. All right, we got one heal. Damn, I actually got a lot more souls than I thought. Um... What do you think? Should I try the boss? There was a ladder? I did not see the ladder. Oh, 
blending in right against the wall. Keith, stop bickering with people. It's annoying. Oh, that's the shard. level that up i think that's i wonder if that's like the boss boss of the zone or if there's like two bosses um do i gotta use it give it to the fire keeper okay Alright, so how do I do... how do I mix? I want to mix. Do you mix? Very well take. Let these souls be drawn from the... Farewell. It's an easier side boss. the locked door, so I probably got to save up and buy the key. Alright, well, let's go, we'll go try that side boss. And then we'll make our way up through the, the main area, because we kind of took the, we went off the beaten path. Yes, this is an open beta, and you have to grab a, a lottery ticket from PlayStation. And if you get chosen, you can play. Omen of the Eclipse. You're like uh, Gunder, but not Gunder. Ow, he can stomp the ground, that's annoying. He definitely does not like fire. There's something very unnerving about like how big he is. I think it's because not only is he big, but he's big. He's big, but he has like just a human face. Oh, you did the roundy spinny. Rolled into it. I think you got me. Like, I think... I think his, uh... I think the helmet should be down. I'm gonna be honest. I think if the helmet was down, instantly he improves as a boss. But with the helmet up, it has this... I don't know, man. It's... Having the, the helmet up is throwing me off. Because it's like... I'm Big Jim! <laughs> what the fuck?
Man, the only thing, listen, I don't I don't pay attention to Godfrey's phase one. I pay attention to Horalu, okay? When Horalu comes out, that's that's when the fight starts. Before that, you're just fighting some dude. So the fire sword's definitely the play. How many souls are on the line? It's like a thousand, I think. Oh man, bad spacing. Just to stay up on top of his ass. It's actually a pretty short run. I mean, I was pumping damage the first time against him. I just gotta get up on him. That time I was testing, uh... Can I stay back? Which, staying back does not work with the way he aggros. You're better off just being on top of him. Slam. I went for the heal there. So I have bleed and fire and poison all on this sword, which is pretty insane to think about. New game plus in DD2. Seems like new game looks more fun, harder. Yeah, I mean, if you want more difficulty, your best bet is installing a difficulty mod. You little shit, could you gotta stop that? I might as well kill this guy every time, because I'm getting a thousand or six hundred souls plus that consumable. By the time I kill the boss, I have like 30,000 souls have built up. I did get my butter chicken. It was delicious. It was very yummy. You think of the mod so far? Very good. So this is probably the, the best overall, like an overhaul I've seen from a Souls mod. I really want to leave the Souls. You know what? Let me grab the Souls. Let me fight him near the door. I think that'll be a better bet.
Good old stomp. Oh, he juked my stomp, and then he hit me. Leave me alone. Damn, that, that might need to be tuned a little bit. His stomp is the one thing I'm really not liking here. Convergence is also a good mod, but I don't think Convergence doesn't overhaul the exploration this does. Like, Convergence feels like a fresh playthrough, but it's a fresh playthrough of Elden Ring. You're, you're already experiencing a lot of what you've experienced before. Uh, a couple of the bosses that are new in Convergence are awesome, but like the overall exploration, like going through the zones and whatnot, you know? Like, I know, I know where I'm going most of the time in Convergence. I was able to figure it out because I played Elden Ring. This, like, there's, like, this is, you know, the area we're going through right now in Dark Souls 3, you, like, run through this very briefly and, like, grab some loots. You don't spend time here. This is a very different, um, exploration. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm struggling with, Sturdy. Because if I had, if I had my little, my Elden Ring hop, I think I could, you know, I wouldn't worry about his ground stomp, but without it, that's that's the most troublesome attack he has, I think. Phase two. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Good old sloppy pus. things. Mm. I mean, there's more to this zone. Should I explore a little bit more and then try to tackle them? Rusty? Bro, what do you mean Rusty? We pushed him to the his second phase on like our third attempt. Coming in here, Cowboy Rusty. Get out of your goddamn mind. I'm fighting an Elden Ring boss in Dark Souls without the Elden Ring advantageous things, like being able to jump over attacks and abuse stagger. I'm gonna talk about Cowboy Rusty. Get the hell out of here. Fighting the pus monsters in Elden Ring, I would just stagger it, hit it in the fucking face with a huge critical, repeat and do it again. I do wonder, do we have, does this game have stagger thresholds similar to, uh, to ER?
Ah, that was whack. Ah, I let that hit me too. Bro, chill. I'm trying to figure out if the fire damage, the mini stagger I'm doing, if that's like an internal cooldown or what. Because it seems like I might be able to just dodge and then get the fire stagger, and every time I get the fire stagger, I can pop off like two to three attacks and then back out and rinse repeat. Shit. It's not that. I'm trying to... I'm trying to get the spacing right for the openings. I think I can dodge the axe throw and then prime up a heavy charged attack to hit him with as he lands. But it's a little... I, I don't know. It's a very odd hitbox. I can I get stomp is fucking up the uh is fucking up him. The bigger concern, I'm not worried about this portion. The bigger concern is the the second portion, because I don't think I don't think we have Elden Ring stagger damage here. Yeah, I can't figure out the consistency on the stagger. I wonder, is it timed? Like you can only stagger him every five to ten seconds or something? Because sometimes we're hitting that stagger and we're, you know, he's getting interrupted. We can get a full, like, second attack off easy or a charged attack. I think, my guess, I don't know. I think it's an internal timer on it. I'm just going to fight with a plan to, uh, I'm going to focus my damage on that internal timer. I like the stop. When I do stop, I'm getting big damage in, but I also don't really think jump R2 attacks. I don't think so. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff that we've learned playing Elden Ring that just doesn't work here. Just to jump, you got to run and hit L3. Yeah, no, no jump stagger. My, I can do a running heavy, but that's it. Shit, it's got all the way over here? Yuck. So 
was a 10 second. Yeah, so it's roughly, it's like a 10 second internal timer on being able to, to restack on the fire. that first hit, hit I, I did that first hit and then just counted off to 10 in my head and then the second hit proc the fire stagger so if I fight this in 10 second intervals I should be able to go charge heavy into a follow up every time or a stomp into oh, I don't know stomp is doing really good damage We haven't tested perfect guard or parries against him. The thing with perfect guard is I like I was able to get a perfect guard against the first boss, so I can probably do it here too. My concern would be the stamina consumption on that guard. Because I don't know if I have enough stamina to do the guard and the follow-up attack. But we can try it here. Let's let's try and um We'll try and go for perfect guard counterattacks and see if they if they work well here. The more I'm looking at it, the more I don't know if I can even get a fucking block. Because the way he swings is a little goofy. I almost wish the fire didn't stagger him. Because it's it's throwing me off. Like I'm trying to count it in my head. But like I get a stagger and then I back out and I go in to get a stagger and I don't get the stagger. And then I'm like, fuck. I'm just gonna talk out loud the whole fight, and every time I proc a stagger, I'm just gonna count to ten and then re-engage. Versus trying to keep it on the internal count. I have like a little bit of a headache. I'm guessing it's because I haven't had any water today. So I should probably remedy that. But we're at what? We're at we're two and a half hours. Yeah, I have to go get some water. Yeah, I sold my other weapons. I like the weapon. The weapon is not the problem. The weapon is great. Five, 
six, seven, eight. So it's eight second internal. Give me a second, I'm gonna grab some water. Grab some candy too. A little bit of sugar. Hmm. I gotta eat all the candy in the house so my toddler stops trying to.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a fast eight count. So yeah, the eight, if I do a fast count, it's 10. If I'm like a slow count, it's around eight. to do that spit that he likes to do again. No! Ah, fuck. I was trying to trying to do an ember. Yeah, damage is fine. I just need to have more heals. Almond um, Joy are amazing. I think what I'm going to do... So obviously, ideally, I get through the fight without using a flask. Which I think I can if I just go by my, like, 8 second count. Um, I think any damage I take... I think I just, I use an ember at the start of phase two to top off my health and max heal, and then I should be fine. But I also think it depends if I can get it to do the spit thing again. on that. Okay, I'll just do it now. That's pretty good. We should be okay here.
Need stamina, bro. No, fuck. No! God damn it! Well, that's fucking gone. Big rips. wasn't even a misclick, I just, I got that AoE thing that he did chunked me, and I was trying to heal, and just didn't have the time to get the heal off. I really don't like the, the close-up thing he does there. He's gonna stomp and I'm probably gonna get hit. No, fuck! It's the one attack I can't deal with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. Getting worse. Uh. Honestly, I would probably be better off just going somewhere else for now. Only because of my stamina. Like right now, I barely have enough stamina. To get a second attack in. Sometimes I don't, depending on the attacks. Fuck off. I think if I, like if I got to, what was I saying, 2020, just like 10 levels, I would be fine. Now the count isn't the problem, I'm just I'm gassing myself. I mean, because the weapon's great, the weapon the weapon is, is perfect, the move set for it's great. Actually, let me try one-handing it. Just for the faster attack. Might be the play.
Yeah, that was way better. Back of the tail got me. I gotta stay topped off or I'm not gonna survive his... Uh Oh, why is it freezing up? Don't go all stompy stompy. So now that's the problem, because when I survived that before, I had on... I was embered. <clears throat> I mean, I might be able to, to hold and block. Uh, 26 dark. Maybe I gotta... Maybe I swap to the... Maybe I just try and block it. Time it? Time that AoE? I don't know, man. I'm bad at timing large-scale AoEs like that. I'm gonna try and just block it and then heal after. The other option would be outrun it, but I don't think there's enough build-up time to do that. I would have to fight him farther back. Bloodborne, didn't the D-Make get shut down? Man, you gotta stop with the fucking happy feet, bro. How did that whiff? I gonna get head snipes? Maybe I stop through the AoE. Do y'all think that's an option? No, I'm dead. He's already. Yeah, I think I should just... I don't know, man. Like, this is clearly doable, but... I, I think I need to... I think I need more levels, to be honest. 
Kevin may be worried about streaming Bloodborne. What are you talking about, bro? Why would I be worried about streaming Bloodborne? Nothing happened with the music. Roll backwards fast. I don't know if that's going to work. I'll tell you what, I'll try it. True, I didn't try fire bombs. That might be the play, is just back away and chuck fire bombs at him. Like, get some damage in, but once I get low, just play it safe. I don't even think it's, it's, I mean, more health would be great, but I think it's my stamina more than anything. This is like a side boss we found. It's not gym day. We're tank tops on gym days. Today's Tuesday. Tuesdays and Thursdays are my lazy days. Oh, cheeky shit. Fucking three hour stream. Most of the time has been spent fighting two bosses. I wonder if I just. Did I back hop away from it? Let me see. Like, oh, it's getting purple. Go, go, go. Let's see how fast it would be rolling. I'll be about the same time. I mean, phase one we got down. The only time I'm losing phase one now is like a sloppy mistake.
No, no purple yet. Did it grab me? Oh, fuck me, man. I think I'm dead. Can I get off a heal? I need to get off two heals. It's not doing its thingy. You should be doing your big thingy. I'm like trying to stay away. Alright. We survived that. That was the big threat. All I gotta do now is not get whacked by some bullshit. Fucking got him. One more for good measure? Yeah, you're dead. Ah. Blech. Blech. Mm, that was good. That just brings me here. Hi. How are you? Your cape's looking kind of dirty today. Oh no. I'm getting out of here. Spending my souls. Alright, let's take a look at the weapon. Mm -hmm. ah, just wasn't it. Uh, let's see. Soul of Commander Asman. Commander's Great Axe. 42 fucking strength. Yeah. Stab the axe into the ground and let out a spirit of war cry. Um, I'm not really that interested in this. 42 ain't happening. I, I'm gonna guess it would work like Godfrey's axe, which is okay-ish. Instead, let's, uh, where's that soul at? I'm gonna gobble it. Want it. An extra 8,000? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Almost at the 2020 split I wanted. That'll keep me. All right, let's get that because I'm still getting huge gains on that. Well, how much am I getting here? That is, that's that's insane, man. It's even more than before. That's 40 fucking points of health versus two points of stamina. You know, quality? Uh, I don't know what I'm going for. I was gonna work towards a, um... I wanted to, to work towards using this thing, because it looks cool. But before that, I need to, uh... I need, I, I need more health and stamina and shit. Alright, we're gonna go a little bit farther. I don't know how much more is in that zone but let's pop out on the other side and try to go up and then we'll go to the original bonfire I'd, I'd, if i can i'd like to basically clear this zone this stream like finish off this zone and then next time we play we can jump into a different arc stone because i've heard that the other arc stones get pretty stacked in terms of how strong stuff is Oh, 
He's like, I don't know how I was like, he's dead. Nope, there's a different guy. That's, that is the way to the boss. This is what I was looking for. Yeah, I've heard the other arc stones get get pretty fucking insane in terms of balance. So we'll. I want to clear out this arc stone as much as possible before I consider going to a different one. Plus, this will give us a chance to see how effective our uh, new fire sword is against non plus stuff. That dude got basically stagger locked. That was good. Yeah, fire sword seems kind of kind of insane at the moment. I'm gonna be honest. Headbutt me, bro. <laughs> Easy souls off the cliff you go, tubby. Accidental deaths are my favorite deaths. Have to go around to get that, I think. Chamber. Fire Sword is fucking amazing. Oh, Lambosh, my love. Are you as good as you've always been? Oh, yes, you are. With the bleed and the DD, I might have to make that fire. Let's see. Length check. Uh, let me line it up with like the edge of a tree. It is longer. Mmm. Mmm. I might be swapping over to the Flamberge. Not right now, of course. I need to, to make it fire and upgrade it and all that, but, uh... Yeah, weighs less, longer reach. It could be good. Taking out big boy, you aren't anything to be concerned with. Shit.
Right now, I'm not I'm not going for a build yet. I'm still just This early, I'm focusing on basically just health and vigor. Weaker block, better parry, probably. Look at some other stuff, took the twin axes. I wonder if those are good now. I'd have to get to 20 strength for him, but I'm not that far. boss. I'm assuming area boss is right there. Um, I want to I want to explore the other portion of this still. And I actually, I'm sitting on 6,000. We can go, uh, let's go back. I'm gonna upgrade, uh, Flamberge and see how it compares. Catch these hands? Let's go. That was a little excessive. 35 souls, that was definitely excessive. So, 110, 110, 30 bleed. 104, 104, 36 bleed, and it weighs lighter. Let's do that. And then we are going to reinforce it. Oh, yes. So that is just a, it's a straight up upgrade. We are getting more, more damage for it. More damage, more bleed. We're losing poison, but who gives a shit about poison? And we have better stability, guard absorption, fire flambage. Very nice. Very nice. Looking quite fashiony. It's my weight. I might even be able to put a helmet on. Uh, assassin mask. No, it's seventy point two. But if I had one more level in stamina. Can I get one more level in stamina? I would need a 500. Interesting. 500. I'll sell you. You're not needed anymore. You seem valuable. Wait, are these for 300 a pop? Do I need to put mod? Let me put mod in the title. 
Dark Souls Arc Thrones mod demo. Here we go. Wait a minute, that's right. You gotta use not that you gotta use vitality for weight in this game. I forgot about that. Fuck. Whatever. We'll go one point. Because I remember even even a little bit of resistance is gonna be worth it. I'm not sure if I like the emissary armor. I might go for just straight up knight or Lothric knight or sage guard. So less physical, better strike, less slash and thrust. What if I did Lothric knight, but then I went down to like different legs, like knight legs. And fugitive gloves. One point off. How much would the level be? I could just take off my shield. That's let's take off the shield for now. It's thirty six. I'd have to sell. Let me see. Interesting. Extra assassin mask or the extra gloves. So we should be where I need to be now. 69.2, Assassin, Lothric, Fugitive, and Knight. Okay. New weapon, new armor. Don't sell those. Flasks don't replenish with rest. What do you mean, flasks don't replenish with rest? Does each of those give you like a single use consumable flask or something? I enjoyed the New Lords of the Fallen game. I mean, it had. The thing is, dude, there's so many releases lately that, like, I'm really enjoying that have performance issues, like Lords of the Fallen, Dragon's Dogma. You know, both games had performance issues, but since I'm on a fucking 4090. I didn't experience any of that shit. People are like, bah! like people get angry, and I'm like, it's not my fault that my PC can run the game. Like in both cases, I even called it out. I'm like, I'm running a 4090, and it's it's doing okay, but this will have performance issues. People are like, how could you not be? How could you lie to me about the performance? I told you. 4090 struggled a bit. What did you think was going to happen with the mid rig? Emberge out here just ended in careers. Yeah, I thought I thought Lords was great. I think it was one of the the. It was one of the uh, only non-FromSoft games that actually, like, gave that feel of being lost as fuck in a Souls game. You know, because, like, Lies of P is a great game, but, like, it's it's linear. 
No one's getting lost in Liza P. If they are, I don't know how. And Neo, even though I love Neo and it has top, you know, top ass combat, nobody's getting lost in Neo. You're, just, you're not. It's not that kind of game. What is this? Is this a back door to the boss? Oh, we didn't run far. Let's go check it out. This looks like an iron giant motherfucker. The end. Oh. Some weird lag. What are you guarding over here, buddy? Hammers me to chop and go! Is that a bomb or do I hit it? hit you in the face. That's an interesting mechanic. You know what I just thought would be like a really funny boss? Like it just made me think of it because we picked up the Havel Ring here. I want like I want a boss where the boss gimmick is you only do damage if you're overweight. It would be a complete meme of a boss, but name like Chungus the Destroyer or something, you know? And the only way you can hurt Chungus is if you're as big as Chungus. Alright, that, that hurts a lot. Alright, this guy's a fucking pushover after getting rid of the optional boss. This isn't the, is this, this has got to be another option, alright? There's no way this is the main boss of the zone. Bullet hell souls. Buddy. Buddy. Oh, 
Calm down. Just doing all sorts of bullshit. Crusaders kindling core of the siege golem ember. Fuck that. Your favorite from soft game? Mm, either Sekiro or Armor Core 6. I got no heals. Kind of dumb, but I killed the stuff that was here. What was this? Was this the top? What was this? Indeed, the final boss. Push over. Core 6? Bro, I loved Armor Core 6. Armor Core 6 was so much fun. Like, easily the best campaign we've seen in an Armor Core game. I mean, I got Havels. Now my weight is way adjusted. Guess I'll slap it on. Not like it matters. You know what? Oh. What's the absorption hit? Not gonna be worth. Actually, now that I got Havels, let me put on fucking, uh. Yeah, dude, let's go. Let's Lothric Knight this shit up. Lothric Knight. Take that off. Beautiful! Look at that! I am the Lost Knight. All that remains. Alright. What do we got here? Further increases max HP while embered. Increase poise and max equip load while embered. Interesting. Emissary. What's that for? These rings are unique. The temperament of the first flame is known to waver. If thy wish to elucidate thine own nature. Whoa, what are you talking about, lady? Reacts to the flame. Dark arises when the flame grows, the dark resides. Flame's tendency shifts. So is it like a white tendency, black tendency type thing? just looks like a shittier version of what I got. But the damage on that is thick. 280 versus 157 and 82. 74, 29, 88, 35. So that would be like a sh pure strength faith build. Um, Way 17. This doesn't have much durability. Is that ever a concern though? The axe is really good. Uh, that might be something to, to consider fucking around with later. Mm. Welcome. Very well taken. Touch the darkness inside me. Uh, endurance. Yeah. We'll get that to 20, and then we're going to go back to pumping stats. I can't believe this little piddly dink shield is just like, yeah, bro. Use me. I'm good. Reacts to Bearer's Soul Tendency, reacts to World's Flame Tendency. Yeah, we ain't doing that. 
cleared that path. You know, I might be able to go take down a cleric beast. But I'd like to try and find the Titanite to grab one more upgrade. Alright, that was a little excessive, boys. Oh shit, I don't have, uh, I don't have stop. You have the other move. Normal break guard, heavy does damage. Undead bone shard, that's nice. Come here. I went, I went that way, right? No, I didn't. I haven't been that way. Angel feather. dropping from above like before. It's stuck.
Oh, this is where I rolled down to get that item. Wait, does this take me to... This takes me to, um... Yeah, 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 okay. I know where we're at. This takes me over to where I shot through all the stuff. So I don't need to do that. That's done. How many, uh... I got two Titanites. This is just a soul. Claymore. Good old Claymore. How do you compare, Claymore? You weigh more. I mean, Claymore is solid, but it's it's less reach. Weighs a pinch more, better scaling, solid reach. Uh, so I think... There would be the door at the... V so that door at the start... No, that's different than who I killed. I think there's two bosses left, right? There's the door at the very start. Which I would consider that the area boss. And then there's, uh... There's the, uh, Cleric Beast. Which, seeing how hard Cleric Beast was hitting, I think I save him for last. Two camps. One says play Dark Souls 2. No, oh, yeah, Dark Souls 2 is good. Dark Souls 2 has the best PvP the game has ever had. It also has the best fashion Souls has ever had. And it was the grandfather of power stancing, which is badass. It's just, it's slower. Dark Souls 2 doesn't really get, it doesn't get very good, uh, a very good rep. Lothric Knight Henrietta, yeah, come on along Henrietta, let's go. Dark Souls 2 doesn't really get the best rep because it's very slow compared to other Souls games and it has adaptability. There's like a stat that you need to level that is going to impact your ability to roll and how fast you chug potions and all that shit. So, a lot of people were not a fan of that. I mean, it makes sense. I wasn't a fan of it either. Adaptability is a shit stat, to be honest. I know this moveset. Ow. Why is... Oh, I see what's happening. Henrietta, come on. Don't you love it when you summon? Alright, well if it goes and slaps Henrietta, that'll hopefully make Henrietta fight back. Two thirty-six. I think that's roughly the same damage as a charged heavy. It's more damage than a charged heavy. Hey, come hit Henrietta. If you're not gonna fucking help with the fight, the least you can do is serve as a meat shield. This is bullshit. This boss has two player health. And Henrietta ain't fucking helping. That's not good.
You have a shared health bar? You do. That's Dookie. Thanks, Henrietta. I appreciate you wasting my fucking ember. Because of you, I have now lost all faith in the NPCs for this game. If Dark Souls was like real life, I would be sending you an invoice for two embers, one for the one that was lost and one for wasting my time. If these embers are not returned to me promptly, I will be contacting my attorney. Test something. Bro, stop. You have the same fucking AI. Yup. All right, this fight's over. <laughs> Just like a crucible night. <laughs> oh, you got me with one. Oh, I gotta go for a shield. I'm better off with uh, shield parries. Yeah, now that I know I can just parry bait it, there's that's that fight's done. It's the the the, the moment you realize the insane parry bait that Crucible Knights are, it fucking changes everything. Like, everything. Because Crucible Knights go from, like, this just, you know, bronze armored menace that's stomping and dashing and, you know, oh, I'm too heavy with this fucking big rip. What? Really, bro? You are... Wow, you're heavy. All right, I guess we gotta... No, I like parry shields more. Let me go down to... Go to the gloves. Try to remember, do you do better damage when you crit if you're parry- if you're two-handing your weapon? I think you do. So that's a 332. Three thirty-two, same damage. Always worse at parrying the spear ones.
No! Ah, fuck! Even if I could parry bait him, I'll be honest, man, the... It's basically a double crucible night at the same time. Like, parry, like, clearly this is just, I need to parry them and win. I can do it. But I gotta... I gotta, I think I need to, like, space them. Sucks that Henrietta bugged out, because if I had Henrietta assisting, I could definitely do it. If, I, if Henrietta was just distracting one, then it's just me parrying. And ow, and the fight's over. I'm gonna I'm gonna try killing all this shit that's near the thing, and I'll see if Henrietta can distract one. Because if I can just parry one, it's it's over. Parrying two is a little bit iffy. Yeah, what's up? Oh hi little girl. You wanna come see daddy? Hi. Hi there. He says, Daddy. Uh, oh, my cute little nugget. How are you? Hmm. Uh, thank you. Can you give me some chip? <laughs> you want to give Mama some chip too? Uh. Yummy. Can I sit for a second? Alright. We'll give Henrietta a chance. I don't think there's anything that's gonna distract her here. This is little sister. So she has uh, Doritos fingers, so she can't touch the keyboard. Now, do you want to take her while I fight the boss? I mean, I have to. <laughs> I mean, well, it's great. Alright, here we go. Ultimate heart mode chat. Holding the baby and fighting the boss at the same time. Oh, don't touch the controller, baby. Yeah, buttons, that's right. She just turned one. Oh my goodness, the carries! Okay, good luck. Oh, where are you going? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to run away? Uh oh. Alright, Henrietta, you just gotta focus on that one. I'm gonna take care of this nerd. Hey, 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 come here. No, why are you doing this? Attack. You need to kill them to redeem yourself for your previous non-participation. All right, you you did better there. Let's parry the shit out of those bosses.
Chamber of Gertrude. You got a waifu? Baby's gonna grow up knowing daddy's the Perry God. Is she alive or dead or what? Her neck kinda big. They should they should make her neck a little tinier. Am I supposed to be able to talk to her chat? Any ideas? Let me try. Oh, I gotta kneel. Oh, you gotta you gotta kneel. She's like, I ain't talking to this peasant. You better kneel. Sure. What's your covenant? Did I get something good for it? Okay, I joined the covenant. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. I'm guessing she probably just she'll probably have dialogue at some point. Covenant angelic faith. Okay, what is that? What does that earn me? Let's take a look at the weapon. It's probably a badass faith sword. Soul special great sword. 25 15 15. Wing and talon. So it's like a sword and shield combo combo. It sounds fucking cool. The paired sword and shield of the ascended knights in service of Gertrude slowly regenerates HP. The stark white wings of Gertrude's knights are the hallmark of their enlightenment. It is a symbol of their heretical faith. Swipe upwards with angelic light, then a heavy attack for a forward jumping slash. That sounds badass. I mean, I've played with big hammers and big hammers and big hammers, but this sounds fucking cool. Let's buy that. What do I need? 21, 15, 15? Today, be careful. That. Welcome. Very well. Take no- Uh, I'm like 130 short. Yeah, true. I can try it. Shield bash and then a spin slash. And then while while it is two-handed, I have a block with the shield. Happens if I like do that into a heavy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the the reach on it seems seems solid. Reach check. All right, so this one is right at the line of the pillar. Damn, it's got longer reach than Flamberge. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna work up towards that. That's uh, that's pretty good. I like that. Some other shit, though. You are gone. Sorry, Claymore. Lothric Knight Spear. Nope. Scythe. Nope. Four Prime Pound. Nope. I might use you at some point. Mm, I'll let you chill. Maybe you're good. I don't really like the parrying dagger. I prefer shields. Point five parry. You're just a worse version. You're welcome. All right, let's get our level. Very well, take One more point in endurance, and then it's just pumping stats for weapons. 
until I'm on the struggle bus and then we start pumping bigger again. I want to say the parry, I think parry dagger and buckler have the same frames. Let me see. Um, parry frames DS3. Parry frame data spreadsheet. Um, let's see. Parry shields. Um, parry shields have, I don't know how the fuck to read this. There's a spreadsheet with a bunch of shit. Action frame category, action frame window, total frames, block frames, parry frames. So the parry dagger goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Parry shields, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think the parry... I think the, the parry shields, yeah, they start earlier. Because they start at frame 10, whereas the dagger starts at frame 13. Block frames, parry frames, so... The parry shields start at eight. And then that's parry. Whereas the dagger starts all the way at 12. And that's the parry. But yeah, I like I like the shields more. I like the shields more, so we'll just sell the parry dagger off. Very well. I like the new hub, man. I mean, I get the gloominess, you know, Souls isn't supposed to be a happy place, but, like, there's only so much gloominess when you're just like, Ugh. It's just, this, I don't know, this feels nice. I like it. Yeah, the boom. Alright, so the only thing left is, uh, well, the only thing left for this stream, I should say. There's more content. Uh, where is... I guess I would do village stables and run backwards for the cleric knight, cleric beast. I mean, a buckler. Elden Ring, I actually like medium shields a lot. The small ones, they're just douche. Like, they're, they're, they're classified as small shields, but they're very fast on the parry frames. I think it was this way. Yeah, that avoids the first ambush. That's the second one avoided. I'm gonna give this guy. I think. I think since I have a fire flamberge, I think I'll be set up in a uh, a pretty good form to fight this. But I'm not gonna like butt my head against him if I. Uh, uh, if I'm getting this body, his damage is still really fucking high. See, my damage feels a little low here. Can't do that. Fuck, that's like instant death. I gotta get away from that. 
Oh, we we kind of did the Lawrence thing already. I spent enough time doing that with the first boss, I'm not playing that game again. You can fuck off, sir. <laughs> but what about second Lawrence? Nah, I don't think so. One Lawrence was enough. We're okay without second Lawrence. Any other, like, cool loot tucked away here? There's fire grease. Uh, this sword's already fire enchanted. Fire flambage. Contraption ahead. Dead end. Oh, wait, I see loot on that body, though. Oh, there we go. Loot that body now. Loot that body. Y'all want to see the, the, the Dark Souls tech? i show you the Dark Souls tech. Oh, it didn't work. That worked. Are you a friend? Thou art keen there. Were they troubled by my gaze? I am naught but a scout. Payeth me no mind. Thanks. Nah, that was too skinny to be the dancer. It was like the dancer's little sister. It's anorexia of the Boreal Valley. That is a in accurate lore name. Is there a way to use Sirash and Leon in our games without paying the huge RC cost? Uh, if you have me as a friend on Steam. But I get like a million friend requests, so I usually don't respond to them. If you message message me on Discord and I'll add you. And then you can use use them. So no call here titties. We're not doing this. I forgot Flamberge has that roll, that rolling strike. It shit's so much better than the uh, the rolling poke. I feel this one. It's just really fucking quick. Oh. Lady, stop with the bells. Hmm, hollow gem, yummy. Good weapon for Warrior and Dogma 2, level 27 using Black Matter. Um, after Black Matter, the next best would probably be something that you buy in Bakatal. Oh, stop that. Also Rapier, it's cool. Um, listen man, I'm not here to fight you. I'm just gonna run past! Let me get past you! Past you! Past you! There we go. He was very upset about me running past him. Let's see. Great Swords, Dogma 2. Uh, early on. Oh, calm down. Let's see. At early on in Dogma 2, what could you get? Yeah, probably Griffic Victory. So yeah, just Bach Patal. Go to Bach Patal and buy a greatsword. It's going to be your best bet. Because otherwise you're like, crawling through caves. Though I guess you could get one Cyclopean. You could get Cy- no, Cyclopean is... 
Dark Beast's Den? Where's that at? Uh, yeah, yeah, you could go get Cyclopean Thunder. It's another good one. Anyway, let's check, uh... What did I get? Apostle Rapier. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the pokes. Final point in endurance for now. 20 endurance, probably don't need any more for the rest of the game. That is one. Want, I really want two more to upgrade that. I might buy them. Um, oh, did we not get a thing? Hold up. Did we not get one from, uh, what's its face? One of the Twisted Souls seeped in strength. Oh, uh, used to acquire... So there's no trading for this, I guess? Just used, used to acquire numerous souls. And then the Siege Golem was Big Axe, right? Big fucking Heavy Axe. Big Heavy Axe. Do I want Big Heavy Axe? I don't think so. I've done, I've done Big Heavy Axe... I don't even know who does the spell transposition here. <coughs> I mean, it doesn't say anything about transposing it. I'll gobble it, whatever. It's only a demo anyway, so. 6,000 yummies. And 7,500 yummies. And we need to get, what, 21? 15, 15? Let these souls be drawn from their vessels, manifestations of disparity, elucidated by fire. Oh, dear. Farewell. Alright. Uh, so this seems like a good spot to wrap for now. I want to go hang out with the kids for a bit. So... Tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's the 10th. When is the, the new Helldivers thing? Is that the 11th? That's the 11th. So yeah, I'll probably do more of this tomorrow. We're, we're cruising along. Um, progress so far? If I, had, if I had fought the bosses in a different order... Like, if I had done... I, I think the, uh, the, the plus one... What I, what I probably should have done was, like, Siege Golem, and then the Angels, and then the Pus and the, uh, the Pus and Cleric Beast. But Fire Weapon absolutely made a, a massive difference in this zone. But, yeah, initial, initial four-hour impression, uh, this is good. This, this mod is better than some full-priced games I have played recently. So, we are absolutely doing more of this. And I will catch y'all tomorrow. Uh, probably a little bit later in the day, since since Wednesday I like to I like to go to the gym early. So I'll get that done, and then we'll probably kick off at like two or three. So I'll catch y'all then.